Welcome to Harpers Ferry. This is the Stoll Gallery and the Harpers Ferry Montessori School and Stoll Decorate Architects and a Stoll Apartment. And we live here on top of it all, right? <laughs> the house was built in 1908. It's a Sears Roebuck house. They bought a machine that made the concrete blocks and then uh, bought all the uh, oak staircase and the uh, trim around the windows and doors. Some of the art that you'll see here are done by uh, friends of ours. This is the nativity interpreted by Tora Carlson, uh, uh, an artist in New Hampshire, a friend of ours, and the painting above is Haitian, uh, Bernard Sejourne from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. We just play, play a few bars here, but we enjoy uh, adding this to the atmosphere of the 1920s because this house was very active then. With the So you see, we can get into a 1925 party mood pretty fast. In here we have uh, furniture and objects that we will be selling in our shop. The cabinet over here houses um, modern glass. We, ha we have paintings that are exhibited now uh, by Michael Dean, um, uh, an artist from the University of Maryland. And they're uh, nice walnut pieces from the 1870s. Kind of sitting room more formal room uh, has the flavor of the 1880s uh, and 90s. My grandmother's um, living room suite was stored in an attic or up in the barn in Massachusetts where my brothers and I would play basketball and all kinds of things around us. wonder it survived. This table belonged to my great-grandmother Whitcomb and I can remember having lots of candies, dishes and things on there and she would serve to the children as they came for an audience in the afternoons. John Greenleaf Whittier who wrote, who's the author of Snowbound and is a relative of ours. My brother is named after Chandler Whittier Stoll. And a lot of Victoriana um, pieces shows the gap of Harpers Ferry, Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. And it was sold in the Kaplan department stores. The Kaplans owned this house. And the whatnot over in this corner here belonged to my mother and has a collection of demi uh coffee cups and sauce. Quite a few objects in here that will be for sale when we open our shop full time and some early ceramics and also some cut glass. The next room is what we call the music room. Uh, walls lined with paintings. The crucifixion which was painted the day that President Kennedy was shot in 1963 by Tor Carlson. The library music room is also a workshop. We have a drafting table here and a model building. This is the Cox House built out on the, being built now out on the Shenandoah River north of Shepherdstown. We can open the doors and get full width of the house if we care to have our parties where music is involved. And a uh, work area with a desk that um, was uh, is a reproduction, 18th century desk by Wallace Nutting, uh, a well-known cabinet maker in Massachusetts in the 20s and 30s. Um, he, he was a friend of my parents and they, he built several, quite a bit of furniture for them. This allows us to have um, a place for our engravings and, and etchings, um, most of them late 18th century. This room was the original kitchen of the house.